Look at all these clean trucks. If you guys watched yesterday's video, you saw that they had the mobile wash guy come here and wash as many trucks as he could in the day. He was here the whole day washing as many as he could. I didn't get a chance to get mine in the lineup, but mine's still pretty clean from the other day. We don't have a permanent wash bay here, but we have a mobile wash guy who comes here and washes all the trucks. I don't know how often he comes, but uh, it was pretty nice. Pretty nice to see him, especially in this season now that the, the dirty season is behind us, mostly. Uh, the dirty season meaning uh, fall, winter, and the beginning of spring. So six months of the year, it's impossible to keep anything clean just because of the climate. I've, I've explained this to you yesterday and stuff. So we're finally getting into the season where when you wash something, it's actually clean for a while. You know, it lasts a little while, more than 15 minutes. So we already got our assignment for today. Gotta go get the truck started. I was gonna leave it uh, hooked up, but uh, since it got a little cold tonight, I wanted to plug the truck in just in case uh, so I can get it started this morning with no problems. So we gotta go hook up to that Conestoga trailer again, the covered wagon, and pull it up to Arburg, about two hours north of here. Then we'll load her up and uh, bring her on back here for the, the lucky driver. The, the load we're picking up today is going to end up in El Paso, Texas. That's pretty cool, eh? Good morning, my friend. How's it going, eh? You have a good night? Oh, she's got a little dirt on her stacks there now. That's from yesterday. Yeah, I guess she is a little dirty now. Huh. Maybe on the weekend, uh, when I have some spare cash laying around for it, uh, I'm just gonna get some some polish and some polishing tools just to keep it a little bit polished I don't know I know it's a work truck okay it's a work truck I'm not expecting to make it look like uh, you know it's gonna be an entry in Gats the great American trucking show uh, but I'm doing what I can to try to at least keep it as clean as I can right you gotta take care of the equipment that you're entrusted with I've been assigned to this wonderful truck here. She's a little bit old. She's not the not the best looker out there, but I mean, she's not the worst either. Not the worst here. What's that? We're talking about how beautiful you are. Okay. So, I have two older sisters, but the uh, they're older than me. My uh, my closest sibling in age is uh, eight years older than me, eight or nine years older than me. So I sort of grew up as kind of like an only child, kind of. I was so far behind them that I was a lot younger than them and they were way too cool for their little brother. <laughs> it wasn't like that, but they had their own lives, right? And so I sort of grew up doing my own thing, hanging out by myself. Can you tell? Because I can uh, have a conversation with pretty much any Buddy and anybody, anything I want to, including a truck and my dogs. I'm perfectly fine just entertaining myself. <laughs> okay, we got her all warmed up. Ready to rock and roll. Still got the steering wheel, but that's okay. It's okay, she's beautiful, okay? She's beautiful. Doesn't matter. So I gotta go hook up onto that trailer, 603, and pull it north. I'm sure glad we had this extra GoPro Hero 7. Uh, because I drove over my other one last, last, after yesterday. I was gonna say last night, but it was late yesterday in the afternoon. I was tired, it's time to go home, and I was just gonna film myself parking, and the wind blew my camera off the ledge where I had it, and right into where my wheels were going, and I didn't notice in time, and I drove over it with the trailer. But she served her purpose, and the camera's actually made a lot of videos, probably made close to a thousand videos with that camera. So, we have this other one here uh, that we had as a spare. It used to be Britt's camera. Now it's here, so. 
You guys are all nice and shiny right now. This camera's brand new for the most part. Thank goodness we had this. Let's be extra careful with this one. Off we go. trailer here make sure that everything we did in here is still holding up two levels <laughs> I'm not gonna climb underneath it but all the way to the back over there and this is going all the way to El Paso Texas But I'm just taking it back to our yard. We have another driver who's going down there. I would love to take it though. Like I said, now that I'm just gathering freight for our highway drivers, now they got all these loads and routes going all over the US, all the kinds of places that I haven't been in like 10 years. In mean, California, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada. Those are all places that I always wanted to go trucking to. Maybe one day we'll take a trip here or there, but for now they need me here picking up these things and uh, I've also got things to take care of at home. Uh, and I'm liking the schedule a lot. It's working out really well for us. So maybe one day we'll take one of these down there just to go and see. I'd love to take Britt with me. But uh, if she comes with me, we've either got to take all the dogs with us or we've got to find somebody who can at least watch the big guys, right? Or watch all of them. Like having dogs is sort of like having kids. We can't just 
pick up and leave and you know, go to El Paso in a truck. It'd be very cramped having all of us in there and Britt can't just you know, take two weeks off work to go down there and right now I've got a position here that I really like. So for now we'll leave that to our highway guys. Maybe they'll send us some pictures from down there. But if you live between here and El Paso, so anywhere's down the I-29 corridor I guess, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas. Today is uh, Tuesday the 24th of March 2021. If this is headed out right away, it'll be down there in a few days. It should be down there. Uh, actually, I can tell you. <laughs> it says right in my computer here when it's expected down in El Paso. It's probably the end of next week. Now, sometime next week, if you see this big blue covered wagon rolling through there with one of our trucks, give them a friendly wave. They may not know why you're waving at them, so don't go and bug them. But that's the trailer that I loaded. A lot of the people here watch the videos that I make, but not all of the drivers uh, watch my videos, and not all of them know who I am. So, eh, don't Maybe give them a wave. Maybe they'll wave back. Maybe they'll wonder why you're waving at them. <laughs> Who knows? If it's a van trailer, maybe it'll be my dad. He's still trucking. He's somewhere down in... Uh, where was he going? Where was he going? I think he's on his way out to New England right now. Out in the Boston area. things that uh, you call a baby very important and I need to be here for that apparently it works a lot better that way and then once we have said baby I'm gonna need to be around to raise him or her but some of my best memories growing up with my dad is being in the truck with him in the summer so that's definitely an experience I want to share with my kids one day if they want to come with me if they want to go on a trip down to El Paso when they're you know in that age where dad's still a superhero if they say yeah, I'd love to go on a trip you know what oh, I'll go with them for sure and we got to turn them into truckers somehow right best way to turn them into truckers is to immerse them right in it my whole life, that's all I've known is trucking, 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 and accounting. My mom's an accountant. <laughs> but I didn't take after that as much. Sitting in front of a computer and paperwork does not uh, excite me as much as big diesel trucks. So let's drag this thing back and maybe we'll meet the driver who's taking it down. I don't know. I have no idea who it is. So we made it back here, put this trailer in the loaded lineup for the driver. I was just gonna show you uh, how this lifted axle works in the back here. Cause up until just about a month ago, I had never pulled a trailer with a lift axle like that before. I think they're pretty cool. See, the load is light enough that we only need two axles on the ground to be legal. But if I was hauling more weight in here and legally I would need three axles on the ground. That's where this axle comes into play. See how it's not even touching the ground? It's lifted up by that airbag there. And the way we put that down, it's in a different spot on different trailers. I believe it's up at the front over here. Ah, in here. See, it's in the up position. We just put this to down like that. And you can see that deflates 
and the airbags over there push this axle down. Now it's a tri-axle. If I go to the front and I flip that little switch to up, you'll see it lift up. Take a look at this. Pretty neat, eh? Figured I'd share that with you. Something I haven't shown you before. So the reason we would want that axle lifted up at all is two reasons. On the long distance highways from here to El Paso, let's say, because that's where it's going, having one axle off the ground reduces drag, which means that's one less axle the truck has to pull down the highway, saving fuel. The second reason is pretty obvious, I guess. If the tires aren't on the ground, they're not getting worn down. It saves on wear and tear and you don't have to replace the tires as quickly. There's those Sherps again. Not sure where they're going. I think one was going to Minnesota, I thought. Maybe that one shipped out already. I don't know, we got a bunch of those in the yard all the time. They're always here. bag in the yard that might be for the dogs up. so I moved the solar panel for that light onto the roof so we won't be able to see it from back here but it's on the roof so it gets direct sunlight most of the day now we're in the shade of that house already but man does that make a difference this light used to be bright and last for maybe like three to five minutes tops. In wintertime, it would last for about one minute because even less sunlight then, right? Since I put that uh, solar panel on the roof, the last couple of days, it stays bright out here all night for as long as you need it. It's amazing what that little bit of difference does. Direct sunlight, that's what it needed. Where'd everybody go? Just finished editing. I was gonna film an ending clip and they're probably outside, aren't they? Aha, enjoying the light that I was just talking to you about. And the lights I put around the yard to light up the perimeter. Let's go see, shall we? Let's go see. I was just talking about this light in the vlog before. And I have seen the requests in the comments for more of Brit and more of the dogs in the videos. I understand. I don't always uh, show them because I get home really late sometimes. And she's already in her pajamas and ready for bed and not really... Not really in the mood to go and be on the internet at, the, at that time. Yeah, she's already all in her uh, sleep attire. And I'm really tired as well when I come home and I'm not really always in the mood to film when I get home yet. So, it hasn't been on purpose. And believe me, I agree with you. I'd like to have them in the vlogs more too. They're the biggest part of my life. And they should be in, in the videos every day. Let's go see what they're up to, shall we? Hello? Hello? Oh, I found a Vina. It says a Vina. He's in the dock. I can't see him. There have been requests for more of you. Me? Mm hmm. Little old me? You sure you're not talking to Frank? No, I'm talking to you. Oh. They want to see more of you. Here I am. So I was just telling him about this light. Isn't that a lot brighter now? YouTube's gonna dull it down anyways. Yeah, no, you can't really, the, he doesn't do it justice. But uh, yeah, that stays on for 
Like, as long as we need it now. It's amazing what direct sunlight will do. Are you ready to go in, buddy? So you were just teasing me, pretending you were going to go to the bathroom, and it's a no-go? He does that a lot. He just wanted to sniff around. Yeah. Weezo. 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 Is he going to go for it? Is he going to go? He might. He might oh. go over to behind the carport. Oh, oh, he's doing the waddle. He's doing the waddle. Oh. Oh, no. Just he's teasing us again. He's going to chew on something on the lawn. Oh, look, a leaf. <laughs> Frank. Chevy out here? Yeah, someone. Chevy. Chevy, what are you eating over here? Chevy. Chevy, no. Man, I love that. I was I was so disappointed already because I thought that we had uh, bought this, you know, it's a solar light. I didn't know how good it was going to be and I was so disappointed with it. I was like, oh, what a waste of money. And it's pretty expensive too. Now I'm happy with it. Hey, Weasel. Let's go inside. Come on. Every time you put footage from this camera onto YouTube, for some reason, YouTube automatically darkens everything. And it's not a setting I can change, because you can go in there and brighten it, but it just makes it look terrible. It doesn't actually bring the light back. It just makes all the redness poke out. Yeah. So there's that. I've always got to make sure I've got really good lighting. It doesn't matter what camera I use. Other YouTubers can understand, I'm sure. Okay, me and um, Vakum here have a date. 